Hello everyone. I don't think we need to wait that long, do we? Um, let's get it cracking. Hello, good evening and welcome to another live broadcast here on Beauty in Sound, where today we have um, a brand new organ. So new in fact, it's not even released. So it's, you could say it's, I don't know what's, what's newer than new. It's hot off the press, put it that way. It's the organ in the, um, the, the Prediger Kirche in Erfurt, in Germany, um, released for Hamburg by Piotr Grobowski. Uh, Erfurt is, I think, just west of Leipzig. Um, never been myself, but it's wonderful to visit Erfurt, so the Prediger Kirche, uh, virtually in this wonderful Habsburg organ. I'm going to play four pieces tonight. I'm going to take you through the interface. I'm going to take you through bits and bobs of the uh, virtual instrument and hopefully by the end you'll get to know the instrument rather well. And in the final piece, um, Piotr will have released the organ, so you'll be able to go and buy it. Enough talk, more play. Let's get on with J.S. Bach's Fantasia and Fugue um, in G minor, BWV 542, to show off um, the plenum on this organ and some of the dynamic contrasts, particularly uh, in the uh, Fantasia. I really hope you enjoy. Sit comfortably, get your drink, sit back, put your feet up and get chatting. I'll see you in about, oh, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 minutes.
Well, thank heavens that's over. That's a pretty full-on fugue. If you don't play it, it's pretty intense, I would say. It's one of the most relentless. It never gives up. It never gives up, but it's a lot of fun to play. So, what do you think to the organ? How does it sound to you? It sounds pretty good in here, I should say. It sounds pretty good indeed. It's, there's a wonderful um, sense of <clears throat> clarity about this organ. A wonderful sense of realism. A wonderful sense of brightness. And actually, a wonderful sense of um, um, variety. You know, there's a there's a there's some wonderful reads upon the, um, the great down on the choir. I'll go through these a bit later um, on the swell and some big reads on the pedal, which is always good to hear. In fact, if I press this button here, you can see the stops. I hope. No, you can't. Let's me press. Where's my mouse? There it is. Actually, that, that, well, that's the organ. That is the case. And I should say that the organ case is actually really historic. It's really old. Uh, however, the actual pipes and the mechanics of the organ itself is from 1977. It's a Schuka organ, a German organ thing. Um, and it's in a, in a wonderful uh, acoustic. You know, this, this, this church is very Gothic, obviously, by its architecture. Um, a wonderful resonance. But I was going to zoom onto this, on the single, um, my favorite um, uh, screen here, the single jam, where everything is really, really clearly laid out. And you can see uh, how, how wonderful the specification is. You know, you have these wonderful, um, the, the wonderful principal chorus on the on the great organ here. You can which you can really build up. It sounds utterly fabulous. I mean, the pedal the pedal division here is massive, um, and as is a swell, isn't it? That's quite a big division. All those mutations. It's wonderful to have all of these mutations. Uh, so I'm going to play now a, some books to Huda, um, and I'm going to show you some of those mutations in this um, chorale prelude. Um, on the on October the 31st, we celebrated Reformation Day. Um, was that October the 31st? Yes, it was. Um, so I thought um, one of the, one of the great Lutheran chorales um, is, of course, Ein Festeberg. And there's a wonderful arrangement by Dietrich Buxtehude. Um, and I'm going to use the corne sound um, on the swell. So let me go back to the stops. If I go to that screen. Hello. Um, you can see what I'm going to have. So I press general one. There you go. So I'm actually using, let me, let me explain what I'm using here. So the positive division, um, you can see that the, 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 the sesquiarch is drawn out, the quint there. Um, well, it sounds really beautiful. That's all there is. And then on, on the, uh, in the left hand, I've got the swell eight foot principle coupled uh, to the Hauptwerk or the great Gemschorn four foot. So that's basically um, a very quiet diapason sound. See, so if I, if I actually went for let me show you why, why I went for that registration. If I went for the principal eight on the Hauptwerk, that principal's too big. And then on the swell, the four foot is too big. So as a compromise, I've got the nice eight foot on the swell and then the, the Gemschorn on the, um, on the Grand Org. Grand Org, not in France, are we? We're in Germany. Uh, the Hauptwerk, and that's, that balances really nicely. On, on the pedal, I've got an 8 and 16. So listen, let, let's have a listen to how that sounds, shall we?
such a beautiful little piece that, isn't it? I could have equally have played it on um, perhaps a reed. But it didn't quite have the right character for me and the, the choir is too small and the oboe on the swell. So I went for the cornet instead and it was a good opportunity to actually show off those sounds. Right, let's just go on to the overview. Let me have a quick, let me zoom through what you've got when you fire up this organ. You've got a representation of the console, so all of these um, stops work. If I press my divisionals here, they do all work like that. They all light up and you've got the pedal, the, the, um, the manuals which work and then the the pedal as well. The pedal on the left is the crescendo pedal. Now I don't have that. And I should point out uh, that in the latest version of this, um, or the organ, so when you buy it, you'll actually have a newer version than me. Piotr uh, gave me uh, so an, an update which I've not had chance to install. And in the update, there is a, um, a, a bar or a light or something which signifies, um, I think it's on this page, or it might be on here. PR will, will he'll let you know in the chat, I'm sure, um, giving you an indication of, uh, as to where this crescendo pedal actually is, whether it's open or closed or, or whatever. So that's the organ, that's the console. Then you've got, you, if you're lucky enough to have touch screens or one on each side, you can have, you know, you can have a, a visual representation of the stops. And of course, these all work as well. So you can press them, you can give them a good whack and they will uh, light up like that. I can press my channel cancel and they will go in. You've got one, on the, one that's the left, you've got one on the right as well, obviously. The crescendo screen here, so this is um, a predetermined crescendo. So that's what Piotr has done himself. And then on the settings, this is where you can see what I'm using. Um, so I've actually got the close all the way up to the top. Um, and then the front or the middle, sort of 57, 47%, and then the rear, 56%. And the tuning over here on the right, just um, put the reeds out of tune a little tiny bit. I mean, not massively. Um, if I bring all the reeds together, uh, like this. It's not really out of tune at all, is it? And then the flutes, well, you've heard the flutes already. They sound pretty good to me. Pipe delays is Piotr's attempt to um, simulate uh, various pipes speaking not at exactly the same time. So in Hauptwerk, um, when you press a note on full organ, every single sound um, you hear at the same time, bang, like that. Of course, on a real organ, that isn't the case. Uh, pipes will take their time to speak. Um, so that's Piotr's um, very good attempt at making it sound a bit more lifelike. Real uh, tremulance, so he has actually recorded the real tremulant sounds on the instrument. And what I can do, I've got this saved as my preset number one. I can just give you a, oh no, I haven't. I thought I really had. Oh, well, luckily I, I know what they are. If I just give you a close um, with nothing else on it. Um, All right, and then if you go to front by itself. Oh, a bit more reverberant. And the rear. There we go. Let me just, let me put it back to how it was. So 47, wasn't it? And then 53, I think. Uh, something like that, that'll do. And then on the over on the last tab, you've got a, a nice picture of the organ. So now let's have something which, um, I just thought I'd throw this into the mix just to um, use the oboe on this swell. And the beautiful flutes down on the choir division. This is the um, Allegro Cantabile from Vidor's uh, Fifth Symphony which, quick plug, if you want to hear me play the entire symphony, I played it live 
last Saturday. Um, the video is online. You can't miss it because you got this Vidor's head plastered all over the thumbnail. It's quite, it's quite recognizable because it's got a big moustache. Go and watch it if you like Vidor and if you like Symphony Number no. 5. I played it on the saint sample set and it sounds amazing. The organ, that is, and my playing was alright on the whole. I fluffed one bit, which is a bit annoyed about, but hey ho, it was live. So, this is the second movement of Vidor 5. I'm just going to change that, um, that picture on the um, on how work so you can see the stops. Bear with me.
So a French piece on a German organ played by an Englishman uh, there, a proper tour of Europe. Uh, so obviously uh, this German organ wasn't designed really, I suppose, to do French music. Um, I suppose it was designed um, to lead worship in, in the German church. However, it's a very colourful registration uh, and it is obviously designed to do repertoire. And I would say that it can do French music. There is a 16 foot as well as the eight foot um, on the um, on the swell uh, reed, so you have a little bit of growl. So there is definitely a little bit of grit there. And then of course you've got all the foundation stops over on the um, the great and the positive. So if you bring it all together with a little bit of rumble in the pedal, you get a bit of this. So you can really build up that foundation um, really rather uh, well. So in the V door you heard the strings which you'll hear again in the Rega in a minute. There's this solitional on the swell coupled uh, just with the, the Gedacht flute uh, on the swell. It's also a viola de gamba on the, um, on the Hauptwerk. It's rather big though. So you could bring the swell down to that. Um, quint on the choir. Which works well actually. Instead of a Nazard. Um, yes. So that leaves one more piece, and I've kept this recital fairly short because I know you'll all be itching to go and buy it, this organ. So as I play with Rager, Piotta, are you in the chat? Yes. He is in the chat. Yes. Excellent. Well, that means then that if, when I play this piece now, I think um, Piotta is going to click the update button on his website, which will make the organ available to buy. Uh, and I really want everyone in the chat to let me know that the organ is available to buy because I, I can't see his website at the minute. Uh, so you, someone say, it's available, and then you all go and click buy. <laughs> Good to see people watching, by the way, uh, nearly 200 people watching. So thank you for joining in the fun tonight. I can see some familiar faces. It's always good to see familiar faces, and of course it's always good to see unfamiliar faces. And I do hope those unfamiliar faces will one day become familiar faces. It's also good to see Nightbot, who I can see is working overtime. If Nightbot um, says anything about requesting hymns, ignore that, because that's the virtual church. I've just forgotten to turn off that particular uh, message. So hello to Ralph, hello to Ryan, Bill, uh, Jerry, um, Carmen, Jim, James, oh, so many people to say hello to. However, we should say hello next, and more specifically, to Max. Max Rager, that is. This is a, um, a rather epic piece. Um, Rager was, of course, German. Um, and this, this particular organ was not necessarily the sort of organ that Rager would have known. Um, he would have had access to a much more... Much more um, well, not, not quite so bright um, and, yeah, anyway. But it, it, this is, I'm not really an expert in German organs, if I'm honest with you. This is a bit more classical, I suppose, because this organ is built in the Baroque style, very much in the Baroque style, um, rather than the Rega style, which is romantic. Um, so bright mixtures, mutations, uh, and more uh, delicate reeds, you know, on this swell and on the choir. So, what I'm doing in this piece is basically using as much of the organ as I possibly can. 
it gets very loud and also gets very quiet. And the fugue, rather comically, uh, starts very quiet and quite slow. But by the end, um, it's, it ends on full organ and we've actually got quicker and quicker and quicker as we go through uh, the fugue. Uh, so it's not me getting overly excited and wanting to finish soon so you can go and buy the organ. It's actually written in the fugue. It's, there's a big um, stringendo all the way through and it's actually really hard to control that. So this is Toccata. Uh, Toccata and Fugue in D minor and D major. It's called that because the, the Toccata is in D minor and the Fugue is in D major. It's opus 59. And it sounds a little bit like this. Where should we go? Should we go for the multi?
Well, I think it's available now, so you should go and buy it. I think this organ is fantastic. As you've heard, it does Brega really well, it does Bach really well, it does Vidor really well, and of course it does Books of Huda really well as well. Um, one thing I really, really like um, about Piotr's organs, I think above anyone else's, is that they are always so clean. They are always presented so cleanly. There's, the sound is so clear. Um, and I, I use Piotr's organs actually a lot for practice. Uh, I think doing intricate music like Bach, like the trio sonatas by Bach, and any music by Bach actually, where there's a lot of uh, polyphony and a lot going on, you can always be sure um, you can you can hear what's going on on these wonderful stops on this uh, wonderful organ and the other organs as well. So I would go and check out Piot's back catalogue. It's, it's getting more and more in his back catalogue um, week by week it seems. <laughs> um, so yes, head over there now um, and go and buy it. So next this time next week, I will have released the um, Interstellar soundtrack uh, suite from uh, Salisbury Cathedral. I've recorded that, so that's going online next Saturday. Uh, tomorrow we've got a live virtual church as usual, um, and then on Monday I'm heading up to Blackburn Cathedral uh, to record the organ up there. John Hosking's in the chat actually, hello John. John Hosking, hello, I can see Sam as well. Hello Sam. You wonder what that pedal is? Oh, well, it sounds a bit like this. <laughs> bit late for Halloween. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not actually I'm going to even say, I, I'm not quite sure what, what, what stop that would be useful. I think it, what, it would be used just, just to enhance the, um, the harmonics in the, in the pedal register to give it a bit more weight, I think. I can't think. Someone, someone will, will know. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was a short one tonight. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing this organ. I enjoyed playing that Rego. Isn't that a fab? Um, I got quite fast at the end. <laughs> um, so I'll see you tomorrow night, everyone. Thank you, for, thank you, Piat, for allowing me to do this. And um, it's a really wonderful organ. I'm gonna, I'm, I will do virtual church on it tomorrow, of course. Uh, so if you want to hear it played uh, live with a lot of smash and grab, as we do here in VC, um, in hymns and other uh, organ music as well, tune in tomorrow night at eight o'clock UK time. Um, Amer you Americans, I know your clocks are changing soon. Uh, ours have already changed. Uh, but the trick is to always look at the placeholder that I put online in advance and that will tell you your local time. It'll give you a countdown, two hours until broadcast or whatever. So you can't go wrong. It's also got uh, some really cool mixtures on the swell, hasn't it? This, listen. Really bright, aren't they? In a, a sort of two, a, Very Christmassy, isn't it? It's like jingle bells, like sort of snow coming down. You could play that Garth Edmonton piece. You yeah, couldn't play that. Yeah, they are. It's a Christmas Eve piece. <laughs> uh, it hasn't got a 32 foot flu, but it's got this wonderful quint, which does a very good job at faking it. <laughs> Incidentally, Sam Slee thinks that the uh, mixture whatever it was called, mutation, mutation pedal note, was a 32 foot harmonic series. Yeah, well, uh, how, uh, what you'd use with it. So you'd probably. I know so, um, Gloucester had one. Yeah, Gloucester had one when, when the organ was actually in there. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm going to call it a night there. Uh, PR, I'll be in touch. So take care, everyone. Um, until tomorrow night, I will say cheerio. Thank you for everyone for your donations. I'll, I haven't seen who's been donating. I've been playing. I've been playing fugues, and uh, and string genjos and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll have a look, and um, I, will, I will say now thank you very much to everyone who has donated tonight. It's very kind. Cool. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. <laughs>